Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. We're going to be looking at the vent feature. The vent feature allows us to create complex vents very easily. We're going to start with this sample part here, which is just a simple plate. Uh, on the face of this plate, we're going to actually sketch in the vent. And we're going to do that by sketching a series of circles and arcs. So the sketch we've drawn there will just represent this outer boundary, the inner boundary and the ribs and spars of the, uh, the vent itself. From here, uh, we'll go ahead and create the vent feature. So first off, where is the vent? Well, if we come to our command search in the top right hand corner of the screen and type in vent, we can launch a tool directly from there. If we want to know where it's located, we can just hit the glasses and SOLIDWORKS will show us. So now we're in the vent tool, we just have to fill in the dialog box here. So the first thing we need to do is select the uh, sketch segments which represent the outer boundary. So if we select the uh, large circle, within the geometry properties, it asks us for the face on which to place the uh, vent, and it will also give us the ability to add draft and add radiuses. We have this flow area here, which will give us the overall area of the vent itself and how much of that vent area is open. Now we'll come in and we'll define the ribs. So click on the box to make it blue and then simply start selecting your sketch segments. Now within here, you have the ability to change the depth of the rib, change the width of the rib, and define an offset. So if I wanted to sit five mil above the plate, for instance, I can make that happen. I can come to the spars box and start selecting the circles. And again, I have the ability to change the depth, change the width, and change the offset. Lastly, we have this fill boundary where we can select the inner circle and just fill that in. And within here, we have the ability to change the depth and the offset. So let's change the depth here to two. And then we'll have it sit in centrally, so we'll have a 0.5 offset. Now coming back up to the top, uh, we may want to add radiuses to this, so let's just come in and fill a, a radial value in. And if it's, let's say, injection molded, you might need to add draft to this, so we can toggle draft on and off from here. And you can draft in either direction. We press OK to complete the feature. And there we have it, a vent made very easily using the vent tool. Thank you for watching.